Deputies from Harford County Sheriff's Office are looking for a murderer who left an Army sergeant's body in the woods in Whiteford. Now this happened 34 years ago, right near the Pennsylvania state line. ABC 2 News' Skylar Henry went to where the man's body was found and learned why investigators are struggling with this Maryland mystery. It was just like this. The leaves changing colors on Susquehanna Hall Road in the fall of 1983 when someone noticed something in the woods. A body. It's rare that it's a random act. It happens, but it's rare. Harford County Sheriff's Detective Seth Culver hasn't stopped looking over the case of what happened to E-7 Sergeant First Class Ronald Haslip. The victim had been shot multiple times and was obviously dead at the scene. The 37-year-old was stationed at the Aberdeen Proving Ground. He'd last been seen in the area. Initial investigation um, revealed that he was most likely killed in a different location, transported that area to be dumped because it was so rural. Investigators interviewed people on base and found little clues. They weren't sure if Ronald was a target or had been in a fight or if it was something random. Some of the main motives are, you know, sex, money, and revenge. And we think some of those did apply to this incident specifically. For murderer, Detective Culver says this embankment is perfect because it's covered in foliage and it's rural, away from everything. He says that's what makes it tough on investigators to figure out how long Haslip's body was here. The area where he was uh, dumped is uh, the road was gravel. It was down a steep embankment. Um, just a family of passerbys is the one who found him. Sheriff's deputies determined a long-range gun is what killed Haslip, but they haven't been able to find a possible bullet match or a murder weapon. Detective Culver calls it frustrating. There's somebody who has not been arrested, charged, who's out running around free, and he's playing God. He's deciding who lives, who doesn't live. Culver says he realizes the suspect may or may not be alive, but still he's hoping to get more answers than investigators did in the 80s. In this case, hopefully we can benefit from the evolution of science and apply that to it because it is hard to track down witnesses over 30 plus years of time. It's a challenge investigators realize but aren't backing down on and looking to solve the mystery of what happened to this military man. Patriot, he was shot down way before he should have been and discarded like trash. In Whiteford, Skyler Henry, ABC2 News. Now, the sheriff's office says Haslip's wife was stationed in Germany at the time, and she really was the only relatives that they had that they could track down. If you can help in this case in any way, you can submit an anonymous tip to Metro Crime Stoppers. You know the number, 1-866-7-LOCKUP.